here with head men's basketball coach Bubba Skelton. You coached your 300th career game at Northwest last night, 229 and 71 overall. We've also been pretty good at home. You look at uh, overtime, Northwest is, I think, almost 80% of their games they've won at home the last 15, 16 years. You get another big win last night over Mississippi Delta. Uh, just talk about your team's play and just they, they play so hard out there. Well, I'm proud of with the way our guys have come along with only having three sophomores this year. It, it means a lot that we've done a good job in the division and just got to try to finish it up as strong as possible. We're now 7-3 and three on the season, two games to play. We've got uh, East Mississippi team coming in on Monday, and then we finish out the regular season at Holmes. Uh, two pretty tough games, but for East Mississippi, it's a team that is playing out of its mind right now. You know, They're, they're beating people by 25, 30 points a game. Uh, big game on Monday night here in Senatobia at Howard Coliseum, which if, if the Rangers can win out, still got a good shot to finish uh, in a tie for first or finish second. So how much motivation is that for, uh, for the guys? Well, we're just taking the game to game. East Mississippi is extremely strong, well coached, and uh, they're, they're obviously playing their best basketball of the season, which, you, which what you want teams to do. And we know we've got a big challenge ahead of us, but that's the kind of game you want to play at this time of the year to try to get ready for a tournament. We, not, we may not be the biggest team. We may not be the, the most skilled team, the fastest team, but – our guys play extremely hard. Uh, I know that's just something that you stress every day in practice is, you know, you want to go game speed all the time. You're pretty intense with them in practice. Uh, how much do you think that transitions over into the game just when you're a little bit uh, tough on them in practice? Well, I think it, it definitely matters. Uh, you know, you want your guys to have to be uh, competitive in practice so when they get to the game they're not they're not shocked by the intensity of it. And uh, I think our guys, especially our freshmen, have come along and adjusted to that. Our sophomores kind of knew how it was going to be. So, um, they're hanging with it right now, and we're finding ways to win games. Like you said, it's not always pretty, but hopefully we can continue to do that. At this point in the season, we're 11-8 and eight overall, 7-3 and three in the conference. Uh, if we look at the standings correctly, we have locked in at least the fourth spot. We possibly can get third or second. Uh, so that, that puts us in the postseason for, for a second straight year with you again. Um, and looking, try not to look ahead, but the, the state tournament, where do you think it's going to be held this year? Uh, well, right now, you know, it looks like it's East Mississippi or Illawama. They're leading in the, in the league, so the North Men's champion will host that. So right now we're looking at, at that as a site. Hey, there's going to be four great teams from the south, so it almost really doesn't matter who you play down there. It's going to be somebody that's a good team. So we're just trying to prepare game to game and, and improve our play and hopefully get to where we're tournament test. Uh, what can you say maybe to the fan base about coming out Monday night? It is the last home game, sophomore night, and a chance to hopefully uh, send the regular season out in style here at home. Well, you know, we always want support. Uh, our, our people have been really good about that. So you would hope that they'll come out and support those guys. We've got Dejan Reno, Rashawn Coleman, and Tristan Moore. There are three sophomores and are all heavy contributors for us, which is what you want out of sophomore class. And um, we want a great crowd. It's going to be a heck of a challenge for us against East Mississippi. Well, Coach, uh, congrats on that win last night. Uh, puts us into playoff again this year. And uh, best of luck uh, on Monday night.